Hey y'all, good morning. It's Marona Prophecy here with you guys again. And I just have a message from the Lord that um, I would like to relay to the world, you know, to um, people who are struggling, trying to get to know him. Also for encouragement for uh, the people that do know the Lord Jesus Christ already, you know. So remember uh, Barnabas, uh, he was an encourager, you know, he encouraged the, the, the word of God. And uh, we should all be encouragers like uh, Barnabas, you know what I'm saying? Um, spread the word of the gospel, spread it freely, okay? There is no price um, for the salvation of the Lord. Um, because Jesus is the one who died on the cross for, for uh, the cross for our sins and rose in three days. Okay. And, um, I just want to give you guys some of what he's saying. Okay. If you guys can get your Bibles out, turn, first of all, I would like to say some prayers. Let me hold on one second. Cause this is live. Um, let me see. Turn your Bible to um, Psalms 23, okay? Because you guys need to pray over the word, the word that you're receiving. And you also need to just pray for your daily necessities, your daily essentials. Because a lot of you guys are wondering, um, you know, well, if I give my life to the Lord, this invisible God, you know, um, you know, what am I to expect? First, um... have faith. Faith is, faith is the greatest thing that you can give the Lord because you can't give him anything. He has everything already. Okay. He's just trying to, you know, he, he's trying to gather his people to him so that you will go to heaven. So you ought to have an inheritance into heaven. You know what I'm saying? So, um, let's start right now. Uh, can I flip this screen over? Let me see. I'm trying to, sorry, bear with me. I'm trying to flip the screen over, but it won't do it. Okay, well, whatever. (laughs) Okay, Psalms 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside still waters. He restoreth my soul. He guides me in the path of his righteousness for his name's sake. Yeah, though I walk through the valley and shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. Goodness and mercies will follow me, shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Okay? Amen, amen, amen. And um, also, read, this is, these are the first scriptures that you should read in the morning, is your Psalms 23, and also uh, your Matthew 6, 9 through 15. So we're going to turn to Matthew right now, and we're going to read that, okay? And then I have a word for uh, you people. Uh, from the Lord. Okay. So let's see what it says here. Okay. I'm in Matthew six, nine, and it's nine through 13. But when you go to verse 15, uh, no, I'm right. Yeah. Hold on. We're just going to read it. Okay. I'm going to read it. How I know it by heart, but I, I read it from, uh, the KJV version the king james uh version okay and it says starting from chapter uh six verse nine after this manner therefore pray ye our father which art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Amen. Yes. And I'm going to just read a little further. Okay. Verses, uh, 14 through 16 verse 14 from the top. For if ye forgive men, their trespasses, your heavenly father will also forgive you. But if ye Forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your father forgive your trespasses. Moreover, when ye fast, be not as the hypocrites of a sad countenance, for they disfigure their faces, that they may appear unto men to fast. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. And um, so, first of all, it, you know, it's, it's a law here. 
Um, how are you to come to God and pray for anything when you can't even do what it says in the commandments? Um, you must forgive people for what they for what they have done against you. You know, if anybody has wronged you. You know, bring it to God because first they wrong God. They sinned against God. They didn't sin against you. They sinned against God. Okay. We take it personal because we work from the carnal, the flesh. But when you begin to walk in the spirit and begin to know who God is, the only person that your fellow brethren or, you know, uh, humans or, you know, Harvey Sam's uh, people like ourselves, uh, they, they do in all actuality, they sin against God. So God says, bring it to him because he is the only forgiver of sins. So when you supernaturally work his laws, he is there and he can then fight the battle for you, you know, for the person that you claim that has wronged you, bring it to the Lord. So you will be forgiven of your sins. Do unto others as you want to be did. You know what I'm saying? So, um, that's just a little message there, but let's go to what I initially wanted to tell you guys. Okay. And, uh, basically this is a message, you know, Jeremiah's letter to the captives, you know, Jeremiah was a prophet of the Lord. And so he had a message. And so I passed, I passed the torch today because I am a prophet of the Lord also. And so the Lord gave me this, 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 this verse in Jeremiah today to spread across, you know, uh, the nations and, and give this message to the Lord. So please take time out, pull your Bibles out to Jeremiah 29. And like I said, this is a message for for the people that are hanging on to Jesus by the robe, you know, by, by, by the, by his robe, you know, um, they're hanging on, but they're cleaving on, you know, they're, they're barely hanging on. They're about to fall off. The Lord says, hold on, hold on. Um, let me just go into it. Okay. Okay. Starting from the top. This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 29. Listen carefully, okay, people? Listen carefully, church. Now, these are the words of the letter that Jeremiah the prophet sent from Jerusalem unto the residue of the elders, which were carried away captives, and to the priests, and to the prophets, and to all the people whom Nebuchadnezzar had carried away captive from Jerusalem to, ba to Babylon. Okay? Verse 2. After that, Jen how you said, Jeconiah the king, and the queen, and the eunuchs, the princes of Judah, and Jerusalem, and the carpenters, and the smiths were departed from Jerusalem by the hand of Elasa, or El Asa, the son of Shaphan, and that's spelled S H A P H A N, Shaphan. And Jeremiah, the son of Hilkiah, whom Zedekiah, king of Judah, sent unto Babylon, to Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, and that's the army, the army, the, uh, the Lord's army, the God of Israel, unto all that are carried away captives, whom I have caused to be carried away from Jerusalem unto Babylon. Build ye houses and dwell in them. And plant gardens and eat the fruit of them. Take ye wives and beget sons and daughters. And take wives for your sons and give your daughters to husbands. That they may bear sons and daughters. That ye may be increased there and not diminished. And seek the peace of the city. Whither I have caused you to be carried away captives. And pray unto the Lord for it. For in the place... Excuse me, for in for in the peace thereof shall ye have peace. OK, now verse eight, for thus said the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, let not your prophets and your diviners or diviners that be in the midst of you deceive you, neither hearken to your dreams, which ye cause to be dreamed for they prophesy falsely. Unto you in my name, I have not sent them, said the Lord, for thus said the Lord, that after 
70 years be accomplished at Babylon, I will visit you and perform my good words toward you and causing you to return to this place. Verse 11. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, said the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an unexpected end. Verse 12. They shall... Then shall ye call upon me and ye shall go and pray unto me and I will hearken unto you. And ye shall seek me and find me when ye shall search for me with all your heart. Okay, so lean on, lean not on to your own understanding, your own thinking. Okay, the Lord says, seek him and find him when ye shall search for me with all your heart and I will be found of you see <laughs> amen hallelujah said the lord and i will turn away your captivity and i will gather you from all the nations and from all the places whither i have driven you said the lord and i will bring you again into the place whence i caused you to be carried away captive because ye have said the lord hath raised us up prophets in babylon Know that thus said the Lord of the king that sitteth upon the throne of David and all of the people that dwelleth in the city and of your brethren that are not gone forth with you into captivity. Okay. Verse 17. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will send upon them the sword, the famine, and the pestilence, and will make them like vile figs that cannot be eaten. They are so evil. And I will persecute them with the sword, with the famine, and with the pestilence, and will deliver them to be removed to all the kingdoms of the earth, to be a curse and an astonishment and an hissing and a reproach among all the nations, whither I have driven them. 19. Because they have not hearkened to me, to my words, saith the Lord, they have not hearkened to my words, saith the Lord, which I sent unto them by my servants, the prophets, rising up early and sending them. But ye will not hear, saith the Lord. Hear ye therefore the word, the word of the Lord, all ye of the captivity, whom I sent from Jerusalem to Babylon. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, of Ahab, and the son of Kaliah, and Zedekiah, and the son of Messiah, which prophesy a lie unto you in my name behold i will deliver them into the hands of nebuchadnezzar king of babylon and he shall slay them before your eyes and of them shall be taken up a curse by all the captivity of judah which are in babylon saying the lord maketh thee like zedekiah and like ahab whom the king of babylon roasted in the fire because they have committed villainy in Israel, and if you guys don't know what these words mean, all these words that I said, make sure that you look them up, you define them, and you write them down so when you read your scriptures, your scriptures can come alive because then you know the word. You must understand the word, and um, you must read it, okay? Um, yes, okay, let's go. Uh, we're on verse 23. Because they have committed villainy in Israel and have committed adultery with their neighbors' wives and have spoken lying words in my name, which I have not commanded them. Even I know, and I am a witness, saith the Lord. 24. Thus shalt thou also speak to Shemaiah the Nehelamite, saying, Thus speaketh the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, saying, Because thou hast sent letters in my name unto all the people that are at Jerusalem, and to Zephaniah, the son of Messiah, the priest, and to all the priests, saying, The Lord made thee priest in the stead of Jehoiada, the priest, that ye should be officers in the house of the Lord for every man that is mad and making himself a prophet, that thou shouldest put him in prison and in the stocks. Now, therefore, why hast thou not reproved Jeremiah Anathoth, which maketh himself a prophet to you? For therefore he sent unto us in Babylon, saying, This captivity is long. Build ye houses and dwell in them and plant gardens and eat uh, excuse me, and eat the fruits of men, of them, excuse me. Let me say that again, okay? Verse 28, for therefore he sent unto us in Babylon, saying, this captivity is long. 
Build ye houses and dwell in them and plant gardens and eat the fruit of them. And Zephaniah the priest read this letter in the ears of Jeremiah the prophet. Then came the word of the Lord unto Jeremiah saying, Send to all them of the captivity saying, Thus said the Lord concerning Shemamiah the Nephilimite, because that Shemaiah, if I'm saying the name right, I'm pronouncing it all different kinds, kinds of ways. That Shemaiah hath prophesied unto you, and I sent him not, and he caused you to trust in a lie. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will punish Shemaiah the Nephilimite and his seed. He shall not have a man to dwell among this people. Neither shall he behold the good that I will do for my people, said the Lord, because he had taught rebellion against the Lord. Okay? Um, so I don't know. That's the word that I have today. Make sure you guys get in your word. Um, yeah, this is a letter to all the captives. Okay. And, um, you guys, may you be richly blessed in the Lord. Okay. And I will be back with you guys soon. This is Marona prophecy. Okay. Share your likes. I don't know if you could, but I don't know. Share your like. And, um, uh, 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 subscribe to my channel. Share this, okay? And, yeah, I'm not fancy with this, okay? You know why? Because God's words is fancy. That's fancy enough, okay? I, I, I don't know how to do all this YouTube stuff, all that. All I know is, um, I got to send the word out for the ministries of God. Be blessed. Amen.